Hi, uh, this is Todd Sarwell, and I'm just going to show you how to um, practice refraction on this virtual uh, patient and virtual refracting instrument. So if we go to our tutorial here and uh, select the simulator, well, first of all, uh, first thing you should do is say if you want to refract in minus cell or plus cell. So you can do either one. I'll just leave it on minus cell for now. And we go to our simulator, and you can choose a patient. If you just want to choose any patient that walks in the door, I would just leave it on the default settings. If you want to practice on a specific type of patient, you can. Or, of course, you can manually create a patient uh, just by typing in the refraction that you want to, re to um, uh, refract. Randomly generated patient. And we can read up about him. He's already very myopic. He wears glasses and he's seen 20, 30 ish. So, you know, of course, I can give you a sense of what to expect. Uh, she feels that she is doing well. She just should have an eye exam. So, um, 20, 30. I think we can do better. We'll see. Start the refraction. And if you want to review that patient info, it's always available by clicking this uh, patient chart folder icon. I'll uh, close this off, and yeah, the controls, um, let's just start, uh, I'll just start doing a refraction here, so you can occlude an eye, like you normally would. To unocclude the eye, you just click this, so that goes back, and now both eyes are open again, but let's occlude that, and uh, just like other, you know, just like a real refracting instrument, you can go up and down in three to after steps, quarter steps, swing down the JCC, uh, twisted, Twist it, flip it, flip it. Um, soul controls, uh, having two knobs inside each other was not working well. So instead of that, I have up, sill, down, sill, and then grab these little wheels to kind of twist it and turn it. And uh, it's, it actually also tells you exactly what axis we're at, too. And then our eye chart works pretty much the way you'd expect up, down, occlude, uh, or I'm sorry, isolate a row, unisolate a row. Then when you're refracting, you just do what you'd normally do. Let me get this JCC out of the way. And uh, I know this patient could see 2030. Maybe I'll verify that, though. I'll say read the chart. Read the lowest line you can. O, E, L, C, N, or H. So she's reading 2030 with some effort, it looks like. And uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just ask questions. We'll say, which one's better? Uh, choice one. Give her some minus or two and two is more contrast. Uh, let's have her read the chart again. Uh, okay, now she's trying the next row, so she must feel like it's improved a little bit. Um, let me just kind of go to a couple questions here. So I'll ask on the JCC. I think I messed up that axis earlier, but that's okay. Now, instead of hitting the one or two buttons, I actually like pressing the one or two buttons on my keyboard better, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say, which one's better? One or two, and one's a little bit better. So one was this one, and we'll say one or two. One's more distinct. Yeah, I messed up that axis earlier when I was showing off the controls. Uh, one or two, and so on. So I won't do the whole refraction here. I just kind of wanted to show the controls, but of course here I would open up the left eye, close off the right eye, and uh, start refracting this eye. And when we're done, we click the finish button and we confirm that we're done just so you don't do that accidentally. Um, we did do very well on our refraction, uh, but of course that wasn't the intention here. This was showing the controls. I'll, I'll do some videos of some full refractions later.